Next, we look at a very interesting article, Rafe, from which was in Bloomberg, which talks about the peak oil is suddenly upon us. And the article says that the year 2019 was the high water mark where humanity's use of oil was at the peak. Exactly. And uh, because of the pandemic, a lot of things have changed. Yep. Commercial planes have stopped flying. Right. Uh, office workers are not commuting. Yes. Meetings are happening over Zoom. And as a result, consumption of oil is at an all time exactly. yeah. At its worst, the global oil demand has dropped by 29 million barrels of oil in a day. You're right, Rafi, and due to this, the British oil giant BP and OPEC have acknowledged that the end is in sight. Essentially, COVID-19 accelerated long-term trends to actually give our fo- I mean, shift our focus to tell us that where the energy is actually coming from. And some of these changes will actually be permanent. That's right. And the chart in the article actually says that the use of oil is going to plateau for the next decade or so right. before actually tapering off. So the International Energy Agency said oil demand can only come down with stronger government policies promoting electric vehicles and regulating petrochemicals. He also said the value of oil is going down and oil dependent economies have to prepare themselves before it's too late. Amit, regarding electric vehicles in 2020, every major automaker has reported a decline in their sales except Tesla. (laughs) <laughs> so uh, even for components I guess. even for components tesla is the one company that is selling more right. making profits uh, big companies like volkswagen and daimler they have recorded a record drop in sales except for their models which are electric vehicles i'm kind of happy about it though. yes so am i also roughly the sales of electric vehicles will actually get higher in this decade as the batteries get cheaper you know one important thing to note is that the batteries are a technology and not fuel that's right, Amit. Yeah. And the more, unlike oil, yeah. the more the batteries that are created, the cheaper they will get. Okay. In fact, there has been a study which says that as the usage of batteries doubles, the cost of batteries will go down by 18%. Wow, that's like a big number then. Yeah. Yes. So another crucial development regarding the use of oil yeah. is this, that around the globe, around 14 countries and 20 cities of those 14 countries have decided to completely ban the use of fossil fuel cars, basically cars which use petroleum, LPG and diesel fuel. So Rafa, let me tell you uh, the international scene happening. Uh, Norway has uh, given a a timeline of 2025 where they will be 100% electric. Netherlands, Israel, Sweden and Denmark have decided to go all electric with cars and buses and everything by 2030. Finally, just five years back in 2015, the CEO of ConocoPhillips, uh, which is a US oil giant, uh, told Bloomberg that, you know, in another 50 years, the oil demand will actually uh, make an impact, a material impact will happen uh, due to these, you know, the sales increase in electric cars and few in the oil industry today will actually make that uh, case today. That's right, Amit. In just five years, the acceptance for electric mobility, electric cars in general, has dramatically changed. I mean, I would attribute a lot of it to aspirational companies like Tesla in the US and Aether in India, which has changed people's mindset completely. They don't think of electric cars. Once upon a time, they used to think of them as golf carts and slow and unappealing. But now they are the aspirational product. If you can afford it, you would buy it. That's the kind of uh, change that has actually come about. So with the electrification of transport, the distinction between liquid fuels like oil and electricity is really blurring. And solar power is now the cheapest form of new energy capacity in the world. So after reading about this positive article, uh, you know, we only have one thing to say that, you know, ice and oil vehicles, your time is over. Moving on to a third news item from our global story pick of the week. This is Aptera, a very cute little three-wheeled vehicle which is electric and it's, which will be launched very soon uh, by a startup called Aptera. Uh, Amit, these are some very incredible spe- specs. Uh, it's basically three seat and it's been optimized for incredible efficiency. Nice. Uh, let me read off some of the specs to you. It's a 100 kilowatt front wheel drive motor. Wow. So there are two wheels which will be having the drive part of it and it will go a thousand miles to a charge nice. or if you wish you can have a lower range of a 600 
or 400 or 250 mile options okay and conversely these uh, options will come with uh, different battery packs okay uh, the 100 kilowatt hour one will be for the largest range and you can have either a 60 40 or 24 25 kilowatt hour battery packs that sounds interesting so there is one very sweet point that is that people have been talking about about the aptera is about the solar panels that are on top of the roof yes amit it's a 700 watt uh, solar panel Right. And if you are driving in the city, you absolutely won't need to charge because it gives you a 40 mile range. So summers you're taken care of. Exactly. Some of this claim is really very interesting. 40 yeah. miles on a daily basis is yeah. quite enough. Uh, however, we need to be careful of these American startups uh, like Nikola Motors had come earlier. Right. And it seems that they gather a lot of uh, investment, venture capital, and then they just kind of hibernate. Yeah. So we need to see a lot more. We need to see data. We need to see tests. We need to see this happening. All these different ranges that they're talking about, 1000 mile range, 800, 600, 250 miles. We need to see this happening. So we need to see some action going on. There, yes, right? but it's definitely a great marketing pitch. True. And the company already has been garnering, uh, say, free orders of about over $100 million. So let's look at something what the company has to say. We never could have imagined the outpouring of interest uh, and support that has followed our announcement. Uh, we quickly sold out. Uh, we quickly sold out of our Aptera Paradigm and Paradigm Plus editions on the first day, and things haven't slowed down since. I mean, I think it all depends on delivery. True. Whether they're actually able to give customers the product or not. And I think three-wheel driving is a concept that has arrived. We should see a lot more of it happening. Yeah. So any news of the strong, strong oh, three, was it? It's a good question. And the answer is no, we haven't really heard from the founders. Yeah. Maybe they are looking for more investment and uh, once they get more support, but whenever they do give us some news, whenever something happens, we'll be sure to cover it.